Good afternoon from the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It's Ryan and here's what we'll be doing on today's video. We'll be taking you just down the road from downtown Gatlinburg to Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail as all the fall colors are peaking on this beautiful October day. We'll see how many Smoky Mountain black bears we can spot as we make a few stops on this 5.5 mile one-way loop to check out a fun bridge just off the road and a very short hike to get an amazing view of the Smokies. Finally, we'll stop by the mill at the end of this drivable loop to check out what unique things they have in their store, from giant purple glasses to honey straws, and we'll figure out what is a hillbilly bank. So without further ado, let the adventure begin. So starting out, we are here in the heart of Gatlinburg, right by Anakista and the Ripley's Aquarium. We're gonna be taking a left right up here before we get to the Mountain Mall. It's currently 12.30 in the afternoon. The line for Anakista is not too bad. All right, so let's come over here and take a left before we get to this Mountain Mall and the subway here at the corner. And we're just gonna drive down this road for just a little bit. we come up to this first stop sign. We're gonna be taking a left here at Minette Park. They do have a kids fishing area and it looks beautiful right now with all these leaves. I see some people having a picnic. Oh man, it is a gorgeous day out right now. Current temperature says 73 degrees. As you can see to the right, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park sign. I see people taking pictures. Maybe we got a bear up here on the left. Oh, it is a bear. That is so awesome. We got to see a bear right out of the gate. This is so exciting. So glad to be able to bring you guys on this motor trail to enjoy some of these fall leaves. And there's something over here to the left. Everybody's sticking their cameras out the window. Well, there's bear number two. I was a little worried that middle of the afternoon we might not see as much activity as much as first thing in the morning or later in the evening but we're just a little bit into this drive and we've already seen two bears there's a little place to pull off and park to go down to the ogle place cabin but man with all these fall leaves on the ground and all around the cabin looks incredible we're getting on the one way so we're going to stay to the right here check out the colors in this canopy we're going under Lots of oranges and reds all along here. Oh, we got a turkey over here on the left. Rainbow Falls and Bullhead parking. I'm gonna see if I can find a spot. I would like to check out Bullhead. My neighbor said it's worth the short little hike. So let's see if we can walk out there real quick. I did find a parking spot up here and I did want to point out they do have some restrooms. So if you are doing the Roaring Fork Motor Trail and you need to come up here and let someone in your car use the restroom that is available at this point in the drive. I am going to go for a little hike down a trail for a little bit with you guys. So I could walk to Rainbow Falls. It's 2.7 miles. So a little over five miles if we go to that or I could go 6.6 .6 to make it to Mount LeConte. I'm not sure we're gonna go to Mount LeConte today. You can see the cars that are going on the motor trail. So we worked our way over here to this old Sugarlands trail. Bullhead trail is 0.4 miles. So enjoy the nice peaceful walk through the trees. All right, I gotta show you this part of the trail. This is incredible. You've got this little paved walkway that the water is going right over. It is so peaceful and relaxing. So we can walk straight across here is option A, or option B is take the bridge. I think we need to take the bridge. This is so cool. 
Don't tell Bree I did this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's got a little bit of wobble. A little bit of wobble. Look, Ma, no hands. No hands. Oh, <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. You guys gotta try this. This is amazing back here. I don't hear any cars. I don't hear any city noises. All I hear is that creek we just went over. And I just hear the wind moving through the trees ever so slightly. So I could keep going in the same direction and get to Newfound Gap Road in three and a half miles. Or I could turn down here where these park ranger trucks are parked. So there must be doing some work of some type back here. But I think I'm just gonna head back the way I came We've made it back to the bridge. This time, I'll take you with me so you could see what I see. You can give it a little wobble if you hop. Oh, let's keep going. Just keep going. This is not that far from that bathroom and parking area if you can find a spot. This is a neat little short, very short hike you can come over here with the kids and kind of splash around this little water area and the older kids that are brave enough can uh, try the bridge. So let's head right back up around the corner here to the car. And now that we're back to the car, let's get back on the motor trail. Let's see if we can find any bears out here. And if this area is filled up, they do have some additional Rainbow Falls parking up here. We're happening on the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. It's a canopy of trees. So beautiful. Somebody's pulling out here. Let me pull in and show you this view. So there's this little pull off right here that I've just parked at. You can get a look at some of the colors and the views from here, which is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna take a little walk down this trail and see what we can see. All right, we're gonna work through these trees and see what I can show you right down this little trail. I've actually never been back here. I'm kind of excited to see. I can smell those trees just like when I was at Klingman's Dome the day before last. Ah, oh, it smells incredible. We're going up in elevation. Check out the view from here. Absolutely stunning. Hope you guys are enjoying this little ride and hike here at Roaring Fork. I'm actually going a little bit further for you guys to see if we can get a different view. It's gonna be even better up here. Oh, wow. So I've made it to the top of this little trail right in that little place we parked. And here is the view you can get from here. Absolutely incredible. Well worth the short little hike. I hopped up around the corner and I wanted to show you the view from this side. In the words of Mr. Rogers, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And we're back to the truck. So it's not gonna take you more than four or five minutes to make that quick little walk. So as we back out of here, I definitely recommend make this quick little stop if you can. If you're physically able to go out. If not, you can still just get a little look from this turn here. Yeah, I can see why they can close this road down if the conditions are bad. It goes down pretty good. If I would assign the bravest person in your party to drive. Beautiful red leaves straight up ahead right above us as we continue to go up around this turn. It's not as bad as that first part. Is that a bear? 
That is a bear straight ahead. <gasps> it's a little guy, but he's down there. Oh, is he going to try to go up the tree? There's still nobody behind me. Well, it's a little hard to see him, but I'm counting that as bear number three. Wow, look at the reds over to the left. Here is a look at the view from this particular overlook. If you want to stop and grab a photo. Beautiful. It's gotten a little darker on this side of the trail. There's the mountain to the right is blocking the sun. So we've seen three bears so far. Can we see a fourth? Oh, check out this little bridge. This is awesome. As we come up to the Grotto Falls parking area. So I actually would love to come back here and do a video on Grotto Falls. I have not done that one, but if you have done Rainbow Falls and Grotto Falls, let me know in the comment section which one you prefer. We have the Trillium Gap Trail to Grotto Falls, which is 1.4 miles. It's a little shorter hike than Rainbow Falls. And now we start to work our way back down the mountain. This section right here is absolutely beautiful. As we come around this bend over this bridge, there are leaves falling everywhere all around us right now. I think this might be one of my favorite stretches on this trail. Creek running over here to the right is absolutely beautiful a little hard to see through the trees and look up here on the left all of these yellows and oranges a little bridge going over the water Some cabins over here to the left that you can walk to. Maybe we'll do that on another drive. We'll stop and go check those out. Every time I think this is the best part, then it just gets better. Coming up to the mill, Ely's Mill. Looks like they're selling some apples over here on the right. And he's cooking up something. Is that boiled peanuts? I love boiled, oh, they're boiled peanuts. I've got to stop. I need to find a parking spot. So I found a parking spot. So let's go check out what Ely's Mill has. Got a vendor here at Millside Cabin. Go across the street, peek in the water wheel craft shop real quick. For $3.99, you can get a pea shooter. Micah would love to uh, <laughs> shoot his sisters across our house with these things. So that's maybe a pass. They've got some spinning tops and all sorts of other little toys for kids, marbles. And they have some hand painted ornaments here of a bunch of different 
black bears. For $6.99, you can get yourself a hillbilly bank. You deposit your money here. It's a sock. And so once you fill it up, you can withdraw at the other end. <laughs> For 25 cents, you can come in and get a honey straw, which would be great to do with the kids. Let them pick out a flavor that they want to try. I'm going to grab Brie one of these peach lavender kombucha. Peach is her favorite flavor of kombucha. So we've never tried this brand. This is from a local brewery, so we'll give it a try and see how she likes it. Brie also loves a dark chocolate. And since we just saw Three Bears, I'm gonna get her this Three Bears coffee chocolate. She loves coffee too, so hopefully she likes this chocolate. And check out this guy in the store. He has a nice set of sunglasses. I need to get a pair like that. There's a quick look at the store here at Ely's Mill. You can see the actual mill here, which was built in the 1920s. So I've actually walked around to the back side of the mill. You can see off in the distance, they have some beehives. So they produce honey and all sorts of different things here. Got this little pavilion that they actually just had a wedding. The wedding party just left. So maybe on another video, we'll come back and explore a little bit more around the mill but I'm getting hungry. I think I'm gonna start heading back home. Before we hit the road, I gotta stop and get some boiled peanuts. I love boiled peanuts. Let me see how spicy this Cajun is. Not too spicy, but I love a good classic salted So, But this is good, so I'm gonna do half, let's do half and half. Good. Thanks guys. I have not eaten all day, so I am so excited to have these boiled peanuts on the drive home. Bree is not a fan of boiled peanuts. She thinks they're disgusting, but I absolutely love them. So let me know in the comments. So you team boiled peanuts or leave those things alone, eat them as they are. After leaving the mill parking area, you can see where this one way road comes out and you just have to drive a little bit down the road to make it back to where we started in this video over by the aquarium. But that wraps up our drive through Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail, highlighting just a few things along the way. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, do us a huge favor hit that thumbs up button. And if you are new here, we'd love to have you subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.